and pulling it into the radan here so I can do some nesting. So <clears throat> I'm going to minimize radan. You can see I've got fusion here. I've got this catwalk platform. So what I need to do is uh, get this guy um, saved or exported, right? So if I export this, uh, this is usually the common uh, fusion file. But here, I'm just going to switch this around. I, I tend to like using step files for everything. <coughs> A lot of people can open up step files. And then I simply hit export. I replace that one. So I've got that already exported from Fusion. So I'm going to jump back into Radan. Uh, so in Radan, I'm going to jump into 3D here and simply hit Browse. And I'm going to import this file, right? So there's different files. You may have customers send you SolidWorks, uh, ProE, uh, Stat, Katia. So um, we're just going to roll with the step today. Hit OK and hit Apply. <coughs> so the 3D file is here. We've got a thickness calculation failed, and that's because of the handrail. It's not a sheet metal part. Uh, and, and you'll see we'll probably get another message because this is one whole assembly and what I want to do is get this into a nest so this really helps without having to create DXFs and exporting them out or trying to um, copy and paste things to make a nest right I can simply just bring it in here unfold and say yes Right, here's all my end plates, outside rail, bracket system, tread plate. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to build four of these guys. Actually, we'll build six. I'm going to hit apply and it'll update all the part quantities. And then I simply hit import. You can see it'll unfold all the sheet metal parts. So added them into my nest here. And then I can simply just come and kick off the 